There are increasing concerns as monkeypox for the first time spreads worldwide, rattling the WHO, the United States and the United Kingdom with 92 confirmed cases, 50 suspected incidences in 12 countries. Also on the breakfast, the Central Bank of Niger raised the interest rate to 13% for the first time in two years from 11.5% to 13.5%. What does this mean? And don't forget, we'll also be looking at today's newspapers analyzing the biggest stories of the day. A very good morning to you. We're reaching you live from our series right here at Victoria Island in Lagos. And what's a beautiful, beautiful morning with breakfast on Plus TV Africa. My name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Messia Bopos. Beautiful morning and it's good to be back on your screen. Uh, but we start off, as always, with top trending conversations, making the rounds uh, or generating different reactions in different spaces. I mean, yesterday was one of those times where you had, uh, you know, the internet, especially Twitter, microblogging platform, uh, with a lot of persons talking. That's necessarily because of the videos that actually made the rounds. We're talking about uh, a former governor of Imo State, Rochester, or Korcha. Well, so um, we'll get to that. I'm hoping that we're able to put up, you know, the clips that we have. Or do you want to say that this video or clips are not very mature? Uh, however, we hope that we bring it uh, to your knowledge, if, especially if you haven't seen it. But what happened was that you had an invasion of the uh, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. I mean, invading the residence of Rochester Korocha and uh, arrested him. Eventually, he was arrested. Well, for the reason is that um, the, because there's been a lot of reaction and criticism and a lot of persons have condemned that particular action. Now, the EFCC is saying that the reason for the operation, why they invaded uh, the Abuja residence of Rochester Sokorocha, former governor of Imo State, like I rightly mentioned, was because he jumped bail and refused to accept court process from the commission. And that's the reason for what you were saying, which is real time. And that's an app, it's likely, not necessarily Twitter. But like I, I rightly mentioned, it, it's gotten a lot of persons talking. Uh, it was also stated that the anti-graft agency said that he jumped administrative bill, he was granted and also invaded, uh, evaded his corruption trial. But if he evaded his corruption trial, if he jumped administrative bill, is this actually the way to go? Is the question that's been buzzing in my mind. I'm asking, is this the way to go? Because it feels like we're having a situation of two wrongs can actually make a right. But you know two wrongs can never make a right. Kofi, what do you think of this situation? Um, well, um, you know, the AFCC laid um, a set of late siege at uh, Rocha Zokor Chassis. Uh, Meitama residence in Abuja, um, where he was getting ready to uh, start his activities for the day. Um, it was an hours long siege, it took quite some time uh, for the economic and financial crimes operatives and indeed uh, the police officers who um, were accompanying them to break into the, the house. And um, the television stations, uh, you know, radio stations, newspapers, all converged at the Mitema Abuja residence of uh, Rocha Zokorocha, former governor of uh, Imo State and senator uh, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It was an interesting one, uh, sort of uh, reminiscent of the American uh, police car chases, you know, when, when the United States may be LAPD or NYPD uh, chasing a, a suspect in a car. And then the, the TV networks use the helicopters to, to, um, to, to beam it live. Oh, he's entered a filling station. Oh, he's passed through the 36. He was inside. And they were trying to get in. They couldn't get in. And it was online. It was on TV. And um, uh, what, what we saw there, a bit of what we saw, or what we saw there on the, the TV screen, the clip, was a bit of uh, the live stream by Rochester's uh, Instagram account. You know, someone was holding his phone or somebody who had access to his Instagram account, I'm sure a member of his household, was streaming live. So it was quite interesting 
um, the, 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 the senator, through his Instagram account, uh, live stream, showed um, the, the, you know, the mood in the house. At a point, he, was, um, he, he went on, this, on the floor to pray to God. And he said, um, God Almighty, help me. God help me. God Almighty, help me. You know, he was praying. Um, and some members of his household were also, you know, praying along with him. And they were able to see the moment the government operatives, government agents, uh, broke through the POP ceiling of that, 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 that residence. That's not a small house. It's a, it's a sprawling a mansion. And so it's not a cheap uh, POP or, you know, any kind of maybe um, PVC that is used for the, the ceiling. It's, it's serious, strong quality plaster of Paris. And so they, you can see this is just the mood. Okay, yeah, this is, I think it should be the moment they broke through the POP. Uh, it's, it reminds me of one of those uh, horror movies where there's a zombie trying to, you can see that. If you uh, hear the zombies, sound. Zombies yeah. don't do this. Yeah, you don't know. Sometimes you have some who just, you know. No, no, zombies. And you are, I have never seen a movie where you have zombies I have breaking seen. in. Oh, I have so seen, if I you're have making seen. a comparison, maybe if I you're comparing. But, the, but the, 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 the point is, you know, zombies, it was, it was it scary. Work. It looked traumatic. You can okay. see how they scary is were good. breaking through that. That puby. So they must have climbed the 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 the, the roof. They have this um, uh, step tiles. You know, have step tiles on the house. They must have climbed the roof um, and then removed the step tiles and gained access to the inner roof to be able to break through. It takes quite some effort, um, but but that's what happened. Another video when when he was praying, and I hope we can show that you could hear uh, the door banging. So wouldn't you to pray because door. it's scary. Um, well, probably he's, he's, he, you know, he just needs, some feel that that was also some drama, um, some, you know, comments online I listened to, uh, even on radio, uh, people were saying, okay, he's just reminding them of, uh, Dino Melay, it's too much drama, why are you praying and all that. Um, so, so, so his lawyer, um, Wale Olani Peku and had spoke to the press, um, at the house, in fact, while he was in the house, he granted television interviews. While they were trying to see how they could get in, Rochas was on TV. You know, uh, you know, mo microphones of stations and the camera of stations were smuggled into. Or were, I don't know how it they wasn't got, smuggled. Not smuggled. Because so, if, if, so if you so see, let, if you see the picture outside, so they, they, they were able to get those items into the house. And he actually sat down in his chair and gave an interview while the officials were trying to get... So in other words, you're him. saying that this could be a setup. Rogers actually set this drama No, up? I'm not saying that. I didn't say that. Okay. But, but so I'm just telling you what, what, what transpired and the, the, the drama of the... Of what the, we saw. He, I mean, he, 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 yeah, he saw. even granted a Zoom interview live on national TV. Mm. You know, so it, it, was, it was surreal. You know, it was surreal. And for people who had not had some good entertainment for some time... Um, this this was so something like that. For those who missed out, uh, you really missed out. But but so so Rogers had some things to say. Now Wale Olani Ola Pekman, I hope I got his name right. S N, who is his lawyer, said, um, "We have not been served any order of court. We have not been served or given an arrest warrant. No, nothing has been given to us as paper um, for us to know why they are here. A letter of invitation." Okay, so we were not served an order of court, you know, showing that he, he, uh, his arrest has been ordered. We've not been shown an arrest warrant that gives him the authority to come and pick him up. Neither have we been shown a letter of invitation asking him to come to the EFCC. Today, that was yesterday, is the day for the APC presidential screening. Let him go for this program. When he's done, he will come. Maybe in a matter of three days' time or next week, he will come to your office. So some people said, Mercy, that, um, you know, why would uh, the lawyer say, oh, we, will, we will come when we want to come, but we're not coming today, you know? And then some said, well, the lawyer is right, because, you know, he he is he's said these three documents, order of court, um, uh, arrest warrant, or an invitation you've not presented to us. But what the EFCC said, like you said, Mercy, was that, um, he jumped administrative bail, and there was a time, administrative bail is one of the kinds of bail in the country. You have two, the court bail, where you go to a court and you're given bail, you are released on bail. And then you have the administrative or police bail, where 
you, 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 you present yourself for arrested by the police and they let you go because they don't have enough evidence yet at the time of your arrest to arraign you before court. And the Nigerian constitution is clear that you cannot hold a suspect beyond 24 hours when you have a court of competent jurisdiction or within jurisdiction uh, in a radius of 40 kilometers. And then the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 has been, it's also clear about what can be done or what should be done if there is no court of competent jurisdiction within that 40 kilometer radius. So it exceeds 40 kilometers. You're allowed to hold the person for longer than 24 hours. But of course, in the case that you're able to arrange the person um, you, to court and you want to hold them, you have to also apply to the court to say you want to hold them further for investigation for maybe 30 days as or, or so on as the case may be. But apart, so, um, apart, um, so just, just finally, apart from the, the Constitution, you have the Administration of Criminal Justice Act. Now, that is what you know, the lawyers are saying we should look at to, to, to be able to tell whether the EFCC had a right to, to arrest the man. I mean, I mean, at some point, I understand the fact that we have to follow the law to the latter board. You also need to understand that if you look at the dynamics, if you look at the situation surrounding it, then it's, it's just very glaring. We can't continue because it's like I committed an offense. I made a mistake. I'm a criminal or I'm a suspect. Because this case, as, we, as, as long as, as we're concerned, we, we haven't gotten to a point where everyone is innocent until they're being proven guilty by comp a court of competence jurisdiction. And that is exactly what it is. You can't take it that, I mean, you can't take that away. It's, it's, it's a universal principle. It cuts across board. It's not limited to a continent. It's not limited to a particular location. It's not limited to a particular person. It's a universal principle. But let's even move away from that now and get to, the, you know, the fact that... Yeah, you know, but, 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 but before we move away, you know, the, they... No, not, not necessarily moving away. Okay, I'm right, just saying right. moving away, mm. you know, from that particular point okay, and okay, insinuation right. and all of the reaction. So look, look, looking at all of this now, is it really, really right? We understand Diamond. He John Bill. So, yes, he John Bill. Nobody's going to say, so what? He John Bill. We've not gotten to a point where it, it, it has. Because if you say, I'm a thief, you have to prove that I'm a thief. And that's what the law says. As long as you're not able to prove that I'm a thief, then sh should I be, um, you know, treated differently? It's the modus operandi because it is left from whether or not the attention has shifted from him, you know, looting money, money laundry, he's done a lot of crime, to how the operation was carried out. And we cannot continue like this every other time in our climb and expect a different answer, expect a different reaction. It's a total disgrace, if you ask me. I'll say it in the words what, 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 Because, you know, the EFCC, how, how the EFCC yeah. it's a very honorable a very respectable institution that was created. And we would say that the mode of operandi, the mode of operation is wrong. How do you, like I said in the introduction, it's like having two rights making a wrong. Two rights cannot, I mean, you can't, I mean, okay, so let's come to it. They say two wrongs can't make a right. So it's a situation of saying, you're wrong, I'm wrong. So we, we have to all be wrong. We can't come together. Someone has made a mistake. You can use a mess. A mess cannot create sanity or cannot create, you know, straightness. Mm -hmm. So if, 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 if you have an error created, a corrupt system can never change itself. It needs a superior, it needs a different behavior, it needs a different dynamics, a different action to correct it. Mm -hmm. So yes, um, you probably have him as a suspect. There are a lot of incriminating issues. You probably have all of that and then you need to get to the work. But, you know, acting in the same manner because you're acting like a criminal. What do you break into someone's house? I mean, I'm yeah. saying breaking. It's okay to say you're having a siege. I mean, his house is surrounded, but the fact that you break in, you know, oh, you know, it, it's it's not commendable. Yeah, maybe, maybe, and I'm maybe, not maybe. even sure that the EFCC. I'm not even sure that you know the rules and regulations or the laws governing it would actually permit. I I I, I beg to be corrected here. I beg that I be proven wrong that the EFCC can actually put on the paper, can show everyone that, you know, it's also stated in their mode of operation that you have to break into someone's house, a suspect, because he's still a suspect. It hasn't been proven with all of the allegations, with all of the facts that you have. A court has to prove that. 
Yeah, so, so, so um, these are very interesting points that you've raised. And um, uh, indeed, indeed, the, the overwhelming feeling, you know, and it's understandable how, how you feel. You know, no, it's not how I feel. The, it's what, what it what, is. What, what do you think? It yeah. has nothing to do with feelings okay. here. So, so it, it's understandable, you know, your views uh, are understandable. Or what the law says. Um, um, the, the, the views and the feelings of, of people out there are also you know, similar to what you, you're, you're expressing. You and I, you know, uh, had a bit of a rant on, 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 on radio, so, you know, last night. Um, but um, uh, we also will look, have to look at the, 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 the paper, you know, black and white and what the law says. So we had to dig, you know, I personally had to dig through, you know, the, the Administration of Criminal Justice Act. In 2016, um, because the lawyers have what they'll tell you about and they differ. If you see two lawyers who agree, or every lawyer agreeing on one issue, it's, it's, you, it's hard to find. But in 2016, there's some precedence to this. <coughs> Excuse me, in 2016, um, and Rochester has been, has been arraigned for sort of um, uh, uh, misappropriation of funds in a property to the tune of uh, uh, about two point something billion naira. Um, and uh, his, his, um, his case is almost similar to what you have with uh, the likes of Tompolo and Apo Bolokemi, former GM of, a, uh, of Nimasa, who were charged to court in 2016 or 2015 uh, by the EFCC. Now, in 2016, on the 16th of January, the, the, the gentleman, uh, Apo Bolokemi, was in court. That's the former GM or uh, DG of Nimasa. The amount that himself, Tom Polo, and others were being tried for uh, misappropriation or embezzlement, whichever the word uh, the case is, was 34 billion naira. So that's significantly higher than this. Now, Tom Polo didn't come to court. In fact, Tom Polo made press statements, the former Niger Delta militant. Uh, he made press statements saying that, you know, the, he was going to take the government on and they were looking for trouble and all that. So what the judge did, Justice Balao, the Federal High Court in Lagos, what he did was to... Um, issue a warrant of arrest, you know, for Tompolo. This, the, the, on the adjourned date, they went to court and the man was still not in court. And I remember clearly that the, 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 the counsel for the federal government prosecution was Festus Keyamo. At that time, he was a minister, you know. So the, the trial judge had to issue a second warrant of arrest, you know. So two bench warrants were issued, mercy. And still, Tompolo didn't come to court. You know, he was giving interviews, so he was making, but he didn't come to court. So what the judge had said was that, um, that after issuing two warrants of arrest, that the EFC should do everything they can to produce, to produce him in court on February 8th. That was the next adjourned date. But the judge made an important statement. So, so has this case, yeah, 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 I, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd like the to judge, The judge made an important because, statement, because which is where I'm going to. Um, um, the judge said that um, in, in any case, the EFCC doesn't need an order of court to bring uh, a suspect to arrest a suspect. In the, 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 the story is still up on the EFCC website today as I speak. Mm. Yeah, I, ho I hope that that's what the judge said, but it's on the EFCC website. The judge is quoted as saying that the EFCC doesn't need an order of court to bring to arrest a suspect. But apart from that, if you go to the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, I'm not a lawyer, all right? No, but these are, no, these are, these it, are, these are it, things, these are things no, that, no, no, that no, one can read. But excuse coffee. me, excuse so, me. Let, so let, the, the question me. I'd like to ask Let me just make the point. I, I know important. because you, I if know you that you're about to If you go to the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, you look at Section 12, it, it, it's, it clearly states um, how a place can be searched. If uh, a suspect is there, a suspect that the EFCC or the police or any, any agency of government like DSS and co are seeking to arrest, it says that you can actually break into the premises if it is difficult for you to arrest the suspect. It's kind of long. I won't go into all of it. But it says you can break into that premises. It even also talks about if you've gone inside to arrest a suspect, you know, if you want to leave and they've barricaded, they've locked it. They said you can break out. You know, so according to the ACGA, JA, you know, what they did is, is, is permitted by law, that breaking. So I was trying to get to. So, um, so we, we get back to the point where we talk about, you know, police brutality and how we go about our, you know, our actions. Because you also have, on the other hand, of the divide where you have the fact that he said there's no, um, there's no um, warrants that has been granted. I mean, he's not been given an arrest 
You know, there's no warrants, there's no search warrant, there's nothing, there's no invitation. So whose words exactly are we going to believe? When we understand that if you look at the behavior of the institutions of government that has been created, it looks like it's a witch hunt. Whether or not, you know, there's a crime that's been committed. And in this case, you ask yourself, is this case in court? I don't think that it would be fair for us and for those people who say that we want to, you know, change the country, want to change the cost of this country, we want to make a difference. We cannot continue to behave in a rascal way. It's a rascal behavior. Do you also know that live ammunition were being shot at that point? And do you also know that apart from the fact that this residence was not just limited to Rochester Korcha and his family, but you had a lot of people, pressmen, people were all in that situation. And what happened if you lost a life in the course of discharging a live ammunition? Everybody would ask what happens when we have the case of Boko Haram and bandits terrorizing Nigeria. And this year trying to make an arrest. The question is, should we continue to act in an uncivil manner and act in a manner that would constantly threaten the lives of people's people, individual citizens. Because what, what do you tell me? I, I practically saw the video where you had these mobile police officers putting out the gun. I mean, they were shooting live bullets. They were shooting live bullets. And what happens? So I don't know how long we will constantly make excuse, you know, for behavior. Like I say, we cannot constantly say that, okay, yes, nobody's tolerating any crime. It's, everyone is a suspect until they're being proven by a court of competence jurisdiction. And now the question would be, is this, cause, is this, is this case in court? No, no, no. Have yeah, we had yeah, him? It's, it's in court. Okay, so it's in court. Yeah. It's in court. Mm -hmm. How did he get to court when he said that, I mean, the, the EFCC is saying that he has not responded to any call at okay. any time, right. and it, at, yes. at any point yeah, so, in time. So, so and also on the other yeah. hand, like I said, we, we cannot continue to make excuses for the behavior that we have. Because you know what this would happen? It would constantly embolden. In the course of discharging our duties, in the course of doing our jobs, we're expected not to act in an uncivil manner. And for every time we have uncivil behavior, we call on the police for the rascality and, and you know, the violence that they're causing. The, because you see someone, because I have, um, you know, dreads on me and I'm dressing in a certain way, I have tattoo and what have you, I have chains on me, then automatically I'm a criminal. Right? And well, so it's okay for well, you well, to well, drag, it's okay for you Messi, to badge because you've had cases to, where EFCC had broken into the houses you know. of people. Yeah. And so let's continue to make justification for all of this behavior. Okay, so, I don't so, think so, that that's so, the case. Yeah, I, I don't yeah, think we, that, we don't that mix, goes well. Yeah, we don't need to mix things up. I, 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 I first, now there are, two, there are two or three things here. Number one, uh, does the, did the EFCC or does the EFCC have the right to break into? the house of a suspect. We have established that according to Administration of, Administration of Criminal Justice Act, they actually have the right to break down your door and come arrest you if you are in a particular place. Whether it's your house or your property or not, they have a right to break in there. And when they get in there to arrest you, uh, provided they have an arrest warrant or they have the authority to arrest so, you. So in a situation mm -hmm. where they don't have an arrest warrant, did, did, no, did no. the law also state that yeah. they need to have an arrest warrant? Did so, they actually so, so put I'm, out? I'm so, getting, I mean, it's, I'm, it's I'm like you there. have can a I, lot of I, argument I, yeah, I'm, there. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm trying to establish what we're looking at. So first of all, do they have the authority to break in? They actually do. Um, it's been established. You can break in and break out. No, because, no, because no, so Rochester second, is secondly, also, the Rochester issue, on the other hand is also saying that there was no arrest warrant. I mean, you yeah, can't so I'm, 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 stand I'm, I'm, on the other I'm, side. I'm getting to that. Mm. Um, so, as regards to the issue of the warrant of arrest, I did say that um, in, in 2016, uh, Justice Bala of Federal High Court in Lagos, in the case involving the former DG of the of the Masa, Akubu Kemi, I think his name, and... Um, uh, uh, that there, there was Tom no Tampolo, warrant of arrest? He, 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 he said to have, his court as saying that the EFC does need a, an order of court. Note, order of court. So, order of court. Yeah, what yeah, order can of I, can court? I, can I, can I but should there be a warrant of arrest? Let me just make my point. He doesn't need an order of court to effect an arrest. But in this case, we're talking about a warrant of arrest. Um, so you look at, at Section 18 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, and it talks about arrest by a police officer without warrant. But of course, this is not just about police officers. It also may have to do with agencies of government. And it says that uh, a police officer may, without an order of a court and without a warrant, a warrant arrest a suspect. We go to paragraph J, all right, which says who's arrest a warrant has been issued or whom he is directed to arrest by we a judge, a, we're being prompted a by, magistrate, you know, um, those a justice of the peace or a superior police officer. So we, it shows we that need, even, we need even to a, way now I, I'll, I'll just make the quick point. It shows that this is important. It shows that even 
a superior police officer can order a um, junior police officer to go and arrest a suspect without, without you know, uh, having a, a any war, formal notification. So, you so just that, go that's ahead. that, but um, I, I think I've made, I made my point. Well, that's the much we can take this morning on The Breakfast. Thank you so much for being part of the show. We'll definitely return with more interesting reactions. Please stay with us.